Ooh. All right, we're here. All right, does FPX get their shit together, bro? Also, TT is eliminated, so we have our 10 playoff teams. I'm ready, bro. I'm hyped. Good morning, Crack Daddy Drake Wide. Yep, that's what I got online for. All right, bear back. One second, one second. One. Ben 我们看到TT的五名选手昨天晚上应该凌晨三四点都在进行rank的在进行排位 Bro, it's crazy. We only have five more series of LPL. Only five more series of LPL regular season. <laughs> crazy. Right, today we won't do solo queue. Tomorrow we can't do solo queue. We probably solo queue again on Wednesday. Probably solo queue again on Wednesday, bro. The friend of Spain needs to climb. We have achieved EU West Master Tier. EU West Master Tier. Don't look at this game. Oh, we've been on the fucking climb. It's actually easier to climb in Diamond than it is in Emerald. It's probably easier to climb in Grandmaster than it is in Master. But yeah, I'm about to experience it, bro. What everyone complains about. EU West Low Master, bro. Holy shit. One game in Low Master. Doctor莫莱夫的团队向竞争的有点好，就是因为大家都是比较灵性的选手，就你发个新信号，新的信号，大家就知道干嘛。或许语言一开始是不通的，但是我想那个摁住Alt以后，那个拖的表情轮牌
as well as do like a playoff preview, get everyone ready for playoffs. Okay. First pick Varus for 1XN. Wait, did I put on the right quality? No, it did not. Better quality. We get just Nautilus Senna. I mean, Nautilus Senna is something that Ducktop and Life were like some of the best at originally. Rumble is banned, okay. Ash is banned here. Just Renata? Ferris Renata is okay. Renekton is a good pick into um, Jalahu, and they also obviously removed the rumble, so now the question is what do you actually go? I would be so down for Aurelian Soul, bro. Aurelian Soul, would he ban out like Ari or something? I think Aurelian Soul is like so good for care to play. Do they have like choice here? Ooh. Jalahu Jace? Something that they haven't played. Something they haven't played. Isn't KC eliminated from playoffs? No, they're not. If K-Corp lose, though, they're eliminated from playoffs. But if they uh, win, they, could, they probably are going to get a tiebreak at least. They'll probably be at least one of those teams that is three and six with them. Like Giant X, Mad Lions, SK would all have to win. And it's like Giants is playing against Heretics, SK is playing versus Rogue, Mad Lions is playing versus Fnatic, so it's not very likely that that happens, I would say. Okay, Tristana and, and Huey. Does that mean they want... Well, actually, what does what does Kara want to play with this? Is it just going to be Karma? Because Karma gives you like pretty low, like a decent little poke comp here. Milky Way Graves? I'm down. This game is important for seeding? Yeah, yeah, this game is important for seeding. If FPX win, they're most likely going to get top four. It's dependent on the top esports series. Top esports plays against NIP tomorrow, or is it the next day? One of the, the upcoming days. I think it's... I think it's... It, may, it might actually be on the last day. What's important is that um, if NIP win their series and FPX win this series, game score wise, NIP will just be the fourth seed over FPX. But if FPX win this series and NIP lose their next series, then um, NIP will be in the fifth seed, FPX will be in the fourth seed. Mm. Yeah, the NIP game is actually on Wednesday. Oh, wow. Yukal is going to play the Aurelian Soul. He prepped Aurelian Soul into Care, who's the big Aurelian Soul player. The thing is, I mean, you could just go Karma here. I think Karma's pretty good. Just end up kind of with a poke comp into what they have. Which I think is pretty nice. Nah, Care Yone? I mean, Yone is good into Aurelian Soul, but I'm not a huge fan of this team comp. I feel like you need magic damage, no? Vagar? Okay. We haven't been seeing like any Vagar in um in LPL. Okay, Vagar versus Aurelian Soul. I'm fucking down for this, bro. I'm hyped.
Vigor good? Yeah, I think Vigor is making a comeback. People are playing it again. It got buffed a couple times, actually. Uh, and now you have a much stronger champion. He is higher HP per level. Um, his Q has higher AP ratio and his R is uh, oh, cooldown, I believe. Oh, wait, no, is it more AP ratio? His R got buffed as well, so people are playing it again. Enemy team is, like, kind of low range. Depends if they go poke Varus. I mean, it will be poke Varus this game. But into champions like Aurelian Soul, Poppy, uh, Renekton, Vagar can get a lot of value. Generally, the build is people um, people go Shirelia second item, which is new. Like, Seraphs into Shirelias is what a lot of people go. And yeah, Shirelias just gives you a lot of mobility, gives you the ability to catch up to people. Oh yeah, with the E start level 1, a lot of people do this. Oh, life is just going in. Make sure they line up there. So, you, like, this trade is not bad to take. Like, the whole idea of this trade for red side is that you take a trade that's losing HP, but, like, what, it, what happens is because they're forced to trade in the wave, then the wave pushes into you. Whereas, like, if you don't take this trade and you just sit back and you keep your HP, what ends up happening is that um, they can just, like, really easily stack three waves on you. And then you're like, uh, or three or four waves, and you end up being like level one to level three. You end up being susceptible to dives. A Milky Way with the straight invade. Does Milky Way go for a, a gank bot? I mean, he could be level three. Go for it. They don't know. They don't know where Milky Way is. This is looking good for Milky Way. He's level 3. He's behind them right now. They're not going to be level 3 yet either. Oh, he's not going for it? He should go for it. He's going for it now. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Probably dead here. Yeah, he's dead. All right, Milky Way on the board. Give it to the goat. There it is. Perfect. Dude, honestly, I think it's not bad for Graves to take part of that wave. Because, like, the set is fasting anyway. So, like, just... If you have, like, low-life minions, just take, like, two, three minions on the way out for Graves. I think it's actually pretty good. If H1, like, invading, Milky Way doesn't give a fuck about it. H1 had no idea that Milky Way cheese path them. Mm. Mm. They have flashes. They're pretty high HP. Let's see if Duck Dom... Duck Dom is going to have to early flash, maybe? Oh. Okay. Okay, so Duck Dom cleanses it there because he doesn't want to get dragged into life and have life die. So they end up using two summoners, but live. And it looks like Senna is just going to leave this lane already. I don't know if it's worth him leaving so early, but maybe he could gank top or something. Because normally you try to leave at the timer of grubs. Then you just get six grubs. You can even play for a lane swap. Uh, Duck Dom is not committing yet. Milky Way is so far ahead now. Dirk on first base. H1 is going um, AD on Poppy, which is actually pretty surprising with Phase Rush. Normally when people are going AD Poppy these days, it's a Electrocutor Dark Harvest angle. Just like a more damaging rune. Phase Rush is normally the tank Poppy rune. So it's surprising to see him go Sundered Sky. I don't really like... Do I like Sundered Sky here? I don't think Sundered Sky is good in this game, bro. For Poppy? He's playing versus one melee. It's pretty hard for him to get a lot of damage off, I think. I think that I would just prefer the tank Poppy build. I think he has enough damage on his team, right? Like Varus, Renekton, Aesol. I don't see why he needs to go AD Poppy in this game. Milky Way sneaking these. They can't see him doing it. They can see the, the, um, they can see the small ones, though. Okay, so now they see it. When the, um... Oh, actually, does he get this? 
Hey, Juan loses this probably. Oh, Jalahu, can we fight this? No flash on this guy. Oh, Jalahu. Oh, he missed a min. He missed an auto attack. Oh man, he autoed a minion. Oh, he mi he autoed a minion, Jalahu, bro. That was a solo kill. That was, a, that was a solo kill on the Renekton, bro. He missed the solo kill angle. And now, Renekton is level 6, so a lot harder. Beijuan got one grub. Milky Way got two. I mean, the grubs are, are like not super nice for FPX. I don't feel like anyone can hit turret. Like maybe top lane can hit turret. I mean, without flash, I think it's kind of risky for him to hit turret anyway, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like the grubs here don't have that much value early game because they just don't have any lane that can actually get plates. Connected ulted for the wave. Yep. I think it's correct. I mean, he was low life. Ult, make sure you get the wave, then base. And then he'll he'll have ult again, like, to have an all-in timer on Jello. Okay,我们两个兄弟感觉发挥是在前中期比较有声音、比较主动的。是的，他们两个也是低地道的方布拉斯青训出身。K2是二一年，小老五是二零年，他们都是在FPB二毛出道以后啊，后来再也没有效力
It's five grubs for FPX. Oh, TP behind. He has ult. He has ult. Garen needs to ignite desperately, bro. Oh, Poppy. <laughs> I mean, he saved the fuck out of him. Got his ignite off so he can actually flash now. And FPX win? I, I, FPX can win. It's just not that easy. Yeah, this Poppy just did the Gilius move, bro. He just did the Gilius classic. I mean, they fought back pretty well here. Viger mm. is not strong yet. He sold so many stacks already. Yeah, they both are stacking pretty well. It's pretty free lane for both. Soul is so busted. I'm telling you, bro. I've been. If you were in the stream like two, three weeks ago, I knew this shit immediately. It just took me a couple games of playing Udyr into this bullshit where I'm like, if this shit can remotely lane, it is so broken. Because normally when you play Udyr, like you can deal, like you can tank damage from mage champions. Like you can tank damage from Orianna. You can tank damage from Azir. Aesol just one shots you, bro. He builds a Rylite and he actually just one shots you. So fucking crazy. That was a gold, actually. Oh, I'm in the vice room, GG. Never mind. Can't check gold. FF. Oh, now they just show the gold up here. Oh, thank you. All right. Jala, who's down uh, 400. They heard me, bro. How's my allergy? Horrible, bro. I wake up like three times a night. My whole fucking face is just completely congested. I go to the bathroom. I empty myself. Stand up for like 10 minutes. Mm. I empty myself, I mean, empty my fucking face, and then mm, try to play it from there. Gotta be careful. Oh. Okay. Milky Way hits. They go into Chocho here. They kind of all dodged it. Oh my god, the fucking Aurelian soul, bro. It's so broken, man, for zero. I don't think they can win this, can they? Oh, care? One shot's Yukal. Yukal's dead. Oh, Milky Way stole it. All right, okay. Can they kill Hoya? Milky Way dead? He's not? Okay, he gets another shutdown. Milky Way gets two shutdowns there. It's actually really big for him. Two for two right now. Oh, Kara actually got... Was that Sundered Sky Proc? That looked like insane damage here. Oh, if life hit, it would have been big. It's a scrap, bro. It is a scrap. Teams be scrapping. I mean, Milky Way has a lot of gold now. Like, this base is going to be crazy for him. He has he has uh, opportunity completed as well, actually, on his base. But the thing is, like, I feel like Graves can't play easily this game. This is actually such a hard Graves game. Aurelian Soul? Even Renekton's annoying for you. Like, you have to play around Renata ult. Varus is, is, like, outranges the fuck out of you. I think it's such a difficult... Graves game. You have to like red sweeper bushes, like hide in bushes and play for like one shots on people. It is like kind of fucked. Milky Way just fucking stole that with his ult. It'd be crazy if he died here because of that. Here he almost griefed by autoing the blue. Oh, actually, I mean, I guess he just did it for a flea proc. He knew his Q was coming up. I guess it's fine. Oh, he doesn't have opportunity, but he went Merc Treads here instead. He could have a completed opportunity, right? How much is opportunity to complete? 
It's like 2700 gold item, right? Oh no, it's Rectrix. Oh, he's not going that. He's going Serpent's Fang, I guess. Or what is he building? Or is he going Collector? Oh man, he just gets... Yeah, he gets flashed on. He was uh, he couldn't E or ult because of the root from Poppy. Seems so hard, man. I feel like Collector is not like... No one's building crit on Graves anymore. Feels like everyone's just going... Uh, they're going just um, Lethality into, beat, into Black Cleaver. That's what I'm seeing. I think Edge of Night would be pretty good for him as well. But I just don't th think that Crit Graves does much for him in this game. I don't see what the Crit Graves is going to do. I don't think he can get enough autos off to make it worth. He's like, what's the point of going crit when you can never auto? Doesn't he have to just play like QR and shit? Problem in the Steam Cup is Jace not Graze? What do you mean the problem? Jace is like probably the best champion in their team comp. First, what the enemy team has, he's like the one that outranges the three front line in Renata. Okay, TP it on. Aesol's gonna drift over this wall. He's dead. Dude, how broken is Aesol, man? You cannot move your champion when they when they lock this in. Four fifty. Wait, that's first turret. Wait, that's first turret. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even realize it was first turret in eighteen minutes. I don't know why he went uh, uh, Morello though. Such a bad Morello pick. Should just go Leandres. Wait, what's 1XM doing? Okay, he's just one tapped by Milky Way. That's right before Drake too. This is actually huge. This is so big. They can just get uh, third Drake off of it. H1 just mega inted. Oh man, he just turbo inted. That's another kill for Milky Way. I guess I guess FBX is gonna win now. <laughs> like what the fuck? They're in such a bad position. He pulled the crowny on mid. Dude, is it really a collector though? Like, is it really a collector in this game? I swear it's so fake in a game like this. Who can you auto? This guy is uh, no shutdown, but he's just dead as hell, I think. Oh. And they get the turret here. Enemy team can't respond because no Nash. Yeah, they just got ran in this last, like, minute or so. Careful. Mr. Life. This CP doesn't matter. He's going to be on mid anyway. All right, he was going crit. He's going crit, Graves. I don't agree with it. Why does he have an extra longsword? Because he was going to bait. Like, he, he, the way he views it is he's going to be... Like, he didn't have enough for a crit cloak. And his next base, he's going to be able to buy collector, most likely, no matter what. Because getting a thousand gold before your base is, like, pretty easy. At this point. Oh, that guy's just dead. One tapped. Got a lot of who takes it. Okay. They decided there, they're like, yeah, it's better on the... I think it's better on the Jace. Vagar got his stacks anyway. I don't think Vagar needs, like, that many kills in this game. Get out of there, duck dumb. 
Be careful on midwave here. They should just play for top wave, I think. Oh, man, that's so lucky from... I mean, I guess he has cleanse. Never mind. He has cleanse. It's, it's okay. Aesol has the Giga ult, though. Am I doing LPL to solo queue to LEC? No, I'm going to take a break. I don't like doing solo queue on days where I'm doing um, LPL and LEC, generally. I do solo queue on the days where I only have to do LPL or like only LCK or something, you know? It's just better. Easier for me, bro. Easier. Life is just dying out of the replay. We have no idea why. Aurelian Soul decided not to use the ult here. Which I think is smart by him, to be honest. He should save his ult for the next Drake. He could have got this turret. He played it overly safe. Oh, now he's going for the turret, but it's too late. GG. Oh, he got it anyway. <laughs> Rub diff. Hey, he has he has seraphs. If Hoya saves his W there and is able to W the seraphs, then Care can die. But it, generally, if he does that, he'll just get stunned himself. Care will be able to counterplay it. So it's still a decent play from Hoya. He'll get probably turn off this. Uh, maybe maybe not. Hey, this is the fight mid that we missed. I don't know, bro. Is it really LDR? Because I think I think in this game, it'd be better for Milky Way to just go Black Cleaver over LDR. Like, so you could just go like Lethality into Cleaver, which is what a lot of people do. Like his team has a lot of physical damage on it. Oh, Jesus. I don't know about that. Oh, this is actually so good. This is so good. They got the Aurelian Soul ult out. So as long as they don't all die, it's mega winning. Because now Aurelian doesn't have the super ult for Drake at 130, which is sole point for FPX. So that is like a mega winning play for FPX. Yeah, Aurelian soul should just have Leandris, bro. It is what it is. Leandris is such a broken item, man. You should just go Leandris whenever you can. Third the wave, got Poppy ult. So now there's not going to be Poppy ult for the Drake as well. So good for FPX. Okay, got his flash. Flash for flash. Going band for band. Okay. Drake in 40. The other problem with this play that they just made topside is they're going to lose Pryo on mid, and now FPX has the um, chance to get control over the Drake. It's really hard for them to reclaim position, too. I mean, if you're FPX, I think you, you'd be willing to give Baron for this Drake. I think this Drake is so nice for your team. I think Milky Way should just start it. Everyone else can hold position, but Milky Way should start the Drake right now on spawn. Careful. Yo, relax, relax, bro. Relax, brothers. And Milky Way's on it right now. Beichuan still has no ult. They see him now. They should start going to Milky Way and helping him. Good poke, good poke. Good zone control. Oh, one shot. He's one tapped. Oh, he's not one tapped. Karen wasn't able to get ult off in there. Beichuan's dead. Oh, never mind. He's not. Flip it. Flip it. We have to flip now. Okay, Milky Way hits those, bro. He hits those. Q smite. Nice. Hoya has TP'd from the back. Life has TP in 18. They need to, to stall out. They need to be careful. They can win this. They can win this. TT can win this. They have to play it slow. They're playing it way too fast. This is not as slow as I wanted them to play it. And now we get TP from life and the situation ends. If the enemy commits TP from life, the situation's over. But yeah, they got soul and they didn't lose Baron for it. Overall, it's good. Life is TPing. If they can stall their tempo enough here, they can go Baron. I think you go Baron. You go Baron here. They should go Baron. 
They have enough tempo on the map. They have gig. Oh, another kill. Yeah, it's a free Baron. It's free Baron. Hit mid, go Baron. Their tempo is so fucked right now. Beichuan's dead. He actually ended up hitting this, but it should be fine. Oh my god, he can't play the game, bro! Aurelian Soul is just that broken. Karajos is not allowed to play the game. So fucked, actually, man. Damn, look at the range from Duck Dumb. Alright, Baron. And we play for out. <laughs> he can't move? That's what I'm saying, bro. Aurelian Soul drops the E on your forehead. You cannot play the game. It just doesn't make sense. Aurelian Soul doesn't even need a mana. No, no, no. Yeah, you just go like HP items on Aurelian. So normally you just go um, like Leandries or Rylai's, depending on the game, whichever one first, and then you go the other one second. And then, you, like, the thing is, you don't even need to build that much AP on Aurelian Soul. It's so broken, you just go like Zanya's third, things like that. You really don't need to build AP on A Soul. Be big if they're able to get this here. Denying global red. Like, the red is so OP with their team comp. Milky Way just robs them. Trying to pull on Jalahu. He has no flash. It's actually a good play from uh, TT. If they're gonna make a play, this is it. Air actually ended up walking here. They go on to Beijuan. Beijuan said. Nautilus hook into the Vagar cage looks like a kind of OP combo, to be honest. And Milky Way just collects another kill. Probably play for bot here. You need Void on Asol? Yeah, I mean, you, you go it later on, yeah. Just like Death Cap doesn't seem to be that OP on Asol. Like, mm. Wait, let me let me look at the Lawlytics. Oh, Chocho's looping onto Milky Way. He's rooted, but it doesn't seem to matter. Oh, Yukal is going for Milky. Oh, he just flashed on him. Oh, he's just dead. Oh my God, they the fuck. Oh my God, the Vigor just one tapped Renata from like full life. He armed him from like fucking three quarters life. What the hell? I mean, Death Cap does have the highest win rate as a third item. Mm. It's like rarely picked. I mean, everything has like pretty much same win rate, actually. Like, there's like four items that are 65%. <laughs> <laughs> All right, GG. They end. Look, Karen's just gonna ult him. Boom, dead. You hear the crowd? The crowd's like, ugh. All right, nice game, nice game.
is so fucking OP versus all the enemy champions. Like, no one can tank, like, no one can deal with this shit on the enemy team. It's just a giga engage for his team. I think we're, I, I want to see Care play um play Asol in the next game because he's one of the the best Asol players in China. in like man of the match player of the game whatever you want to call it is actually angel like angel's been smurfing bro he's been smurfing he had a fucking comeback split like Angel dropped some fucking nukes, bro. Drop like a fucking what was it like a 12 kill TF game, 80 TF, and he smurfed. Yeah, Angel was like low key back to split. I mean, there there was actually a few mid laners that had a resurgence of split. Like Cryin had his best split in a long time. Uh, Shanks had a good split. Fofo had a pretty good split. Angel had a pretty. Your车吗？或者说，开局吗？开就开。美服速把全校保护系列，挑战城市万变路况，防护引擎无惧磨损，无惧有你，顺畅登启用无惧氧化，成功挑战实测验证极速保护全校，引万变。
OPPO Find X7 系列，搭载 OPPO 全球首款双潜望四主摄，专业哈苏人像，拍人像大片就得选 OPPO。OPPO Find X7 系列，大师影像更有分量。的能量饮料更受年轻人喜。It was、uh, called Zeit for Brot. Time for bread. It was actually really good. It was insane. It was really good. I had like a. It was like a tomato, like basil. Cheese sandwich thing, and then we got like a white chocolate raspberry, um, like pastry that we shared. It was pretty insane. Zeit for Brot. Yeah, it was really good. I ended up just looking it up. How did、uh, G2 lock MSI two months ago? Two months ago. Probably like um. Did they get it like one month ago? Just they won winter. Pin这个传统阵容，包括说中路被限制很多的一个情况下，他们想要去突破方法杀这套这个野合体系，我觉得是相对来说比较困难的。哎，而且从目前来看，他们上把可能选用了一个后期发力会比较厉害的阵容，
，也是一个职业生涯相对比较坎坷，但曾经也是天才少年的一名选手啊。来吧，进入双方的。Would you suck no man dry for a tenth of his abilities? Nah. I'm good enough right now. I don't need to be the goat. I could just be a fucking low challenger North American piggy, and it's all right for being 33 years old. It's good enough. All right. Nautilus first pick. Senna is up once again. Is it denied by TT? Tristana for you, Cal. Hell no, bro. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. You Cal Tristana, I can't see him playing it, bro. You Cal to me right now, like he was kind of an Azir guy, but then Azir got perma banned. But um. Or like disabled, whatever you want to call it. For me, I think that every time that this guy plays, he should be playing like play. That should be what he's looking for. Something where he can just be useful, doesn't have to like read fights super well. I feel like his biggest issue, like Yukal's biggest issue, is he doesn't know when he can go into a lot of fights. Like his ability to determine entry points as a mid laner is just bottom tier in LPL. So that's why I don't really like him on um, Nico. I like him on Talia. Uh, I like him on Hui. His karma is like okay, but I just want him to play things where he has like a very obvious way to play the fight. It's like as as Talia, you don't really have to like. There's some angles where you have to understand when you need to wall in order to like secure something, but you don't actually have to engage or like find somebody like in in the fight. You kind of just throw your spells out, like just hold a, a zone, throw your spells out, which is kind of the same thing that Hui does. And I feel like Tristana is is not that easy to make work. Okay, brand for Beichuan. Brand for Beichuan, okay. Dude, if I was playing solo queue here, it's kind of a Kazakh's angle low key. But yeah, they have Jace this game for Xiaolahu. Gragas ban, um, Kasante ban, so they're inviting the Renekton again. I feel like Hoyo could just play it. I don't think he needs to play something else. Like, Renekton vs. Jace is not, like, that bad, I don't think. No way. Good here? I actually really... I'm not a huge fan of the Udyr matchup versus um, Jace. Well, in my experience, what ends up happening is, like, you can win the lane early, and you can't even, like, solo kill as the Udyr, but the Jace just starts out scaling you so hard. Now that everyone just buys Eclipse on that champion, I don't know. It's, it's hard to, like, actually deny the Jace, and you can't really get many plates versus the Jace, so it just gets to the point, like, where around 100 CS, you're even farming with the, with the other guy. Like you're both just even farming. Graves, this is a hard ass Graves game, bro. Once again, this is just a very difficult Graves game. I would not want to play Graves here. I guess with Karma and Seta, it makes it a little bit easier, but still, not easy, bro. Really not easy. Okay, support. Hell no, bro. Don't go Malkai support, man. Not good, is it? I mean, I guess it gives them some engage, though. Long range engage. I feel like, if anything, don't you just play like Rel here? Rel looks kind of nice to me.
Holy shit, that guy is going off. Jesus. Oh, they saw Mukwe go over. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, started E. He's going to have to flash. See if they can actually exploit this. Oh, he might be dead. He's dead, I think. Yeah, he's dead. Maybe? Maybe not. The thing is, Milky Way, like, he doesn't have any... He can't do anything here. But, I mean, he won't lose HP. I mean, he can actually just, uh... He can just do his red, and he'll be fine, I guess. The question is, can he counter-invade bot side? He's, he's going to be asking right now for his bot to push. He's actually starting wolves and they see it. Where is Hoya going? They're lane swapping. What the fuck? Oh, Milky Way is dead. Milky Way is dead. Milky Way is dead. Oh, this is so big for TT. Stopped him on the Raptors completely. He's level 3 to level 1. Damn, he's completely fucked. The fucking full lane swap, damn. What is your last one doing? Bro, you realize you're weak side right now, right? He dead? There's no flash, he's dead. He's dead. Bro, they're actually, dude, they got lane swapped on. Pretty smart, actually. So they're going to just leave the Nautilus, the farm versus the Poppy, and Senna's just going to lane top. No flash on 1xN right now, but he has TP. This dive looks... Oh, it looks good now. Shalahu took the chunk. Oh, they're, they're doomed. Shalahu's just dead. Yukal dead? Oh, Yukal's dead. How did Yukal get killed here, bro? How did Milky Way find a kill mid? Nah, this is fake. This this is such a fake dive. Holy fuck, it's a scrap. Duck Dom is gonna be insanely ahead. Crazy is our game. Bro, they're scrapping it out, man. This is an unlucky word for the milkman. He actually fucked up two of his autos, though. In such a good spot in the game is even now. Yeah, I mean, the main thing that's good for them is that the um, Jace is behind. The other thing that that is crazy here is that the Jace actually started a cult because he thought that he was getting a free lane versus Poppy, and what ended up happening is they lane swapped him, and now that cult is feeling really bad. No flash on um, Varus here. Mm. Life, you're hugging the wall versus Poppy. That's yeah, just support mains trying to be a solo lane. FF. Nice fighting, just base TPs. And be able to get dove here. Oh? This is a one for one? Oh, it's not. Jalahu just has no damage. I thought that Jalahu might have been able to one for one it. But he couldn't. Uh, Maokai just broke his neck. We really stay here? I guess. Grubs? This is not free grubs, by the way. This is easily able to be. This is contestable. They, they can contest this for sure, no? Mantra Q? Hey, Milky Way flashed in for it. What I said is just dead. Nah, this is this is a crazy grub angle, bro. This is a mentally ill grub angle. I'm gonna be honest. 
Life came here as well. Oh, Life missed. Oh, he is dead, though. Uh, Milky Way just gets three kills just like that, or what? They give it to um, Zhao Lao. <laughs> he, he was in uh, desperate times. Normally, the Milky Way is taking that kill, but it's like, all right, buddy, you've been suffering. You deserve this one. What a game. Some LPL, bro. We're LPLing hard as fuck today. This, this series is such an LPL series, though. This one where, like, TT's got nothing to lose, so they're just going all out with their strategies, and then FPX, like, obviously has a lot to lose, so you're trying to match it. This is one where you're just fucking in the mud. I don't know if probably didn't need to flash there, but it was okay. Robechuan should have died here, for sure. Crazy that he didn't. He has 6 minutes, 10 kills. That's how they do it, bro. Tell me it's not fun as fuck, though. <laughs> Tell me this is some real League of Legends right here. Just mechanics check everything at all times. Fuck it. They have not assault. I'm surprised they didn't just send it. Wow, Jala was two levels down though. His Hoya was solo laning. Oh my god, Jala who can't breathe. Does he die here? It's fine. Parano Flash. Is Yukal gonna hit him with the combo? Also, by the way, it's uh, Ignite Tristana. It's not TP. He's dead as hell, isn't he? Oh, uh, I mean, they're kind of reading the play. Okay. Not bad. Good counterplay from FPX, honestly. They read this play and had it, just people here. Oh, ducked up? Okay. Nice. Lean, guys. I like that, bro. You guys are evolving. Reading the enemy play, counterplaying it. They're becoming a team. Feels strong, man. New OMG? I mean, yeah, low key, they're the new OMG. Overperforming expectations. I like it. Oh, yeah, it's just Thanos right now, though. Oh, Duck Dom is going to have to... F oh, he's just dead? Oh, my God. Yep, that's the new OMG. They're definitely the new OMG. It's actually a really bad death. It's right during Grubs. Enemy can get five Grubs, and they have, like, a Tristana on their team as well. Chocho? What is Chocho doing? He is just on a mission. I think the Karma has to carry a lot of weight here. I mean, the Karma should be really, really fucking OP, though. 
like around the second third Drake because he has malignance. He should have malignance on next base. Contra? Oh my god, he okay. I thought he was just gonna fucking dry miss it. That was like the ugliest Mantra Q I've seen, bro. You count a flash. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Milky Way just goes over on him. Easy, bro. Easy. Dude, I, I don't know how you, you die level one on wolves. You're level one to level three in the jungle. And then at 11 minutes, you're three, one, and two. Like, it's not, not possible. Like, if Milky Way can't play well enough for this to happen. It's just like, everything's got to line up. And it just did. They don't have malignance here. Chocho has ult. Oh, pretty bad. Pretty bad opening. Chocho's dead, though. Oh, Milky Way will just get another kill. It is what it is. Oh my god, he flashed into that or what? Poppy is here. They gotta run. They gotta run. They gotta give. They don't need to fully give. Oh, Hoya didn't get the... Oh, Milky Way stole it. Now he's going on to 1xn. He's dead as hell, isn't he? I don't know if that was worth stealing, bro. I don't know if that was worth stealing. Uh, also, like, Care could have based for Malignance, no? Drops dead. Oh! And they have five grubs. This is going to be a huge lead for um, TT now. Yukao should just hit top, no? Yukao, bro, just hit top. Just hit top. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. There's no one. Dude, he's playing it so safe. Why is he not just absolutely fucking the top turret right now? He has five grubs. He could have got two plates here. And because he stalled, now he might actually die. Milky Way is just going to cover the wave. Have I ever seen the Milkman miss a smite? Yes, I have. I saw a crazy, I saw a crazy one once. <laughs> Beitron flashed into it. I, I don't know if Milky Way going for the Drake here is actually right. I mean, he can never kill Hoya, though. Like, Hoya is just unkillable. The person that can deal damage to him right now is um the Karma, but the Karma was dead first. I think there also, Milky Way can't run back to his team. He has to just try to go through the brand and over the wall. Knockdown forced to cleanse here. Once. <laughs> if people watch the first series. Oh, they're on to care. Weren't able to knock him back, though. Looking good for FPX. Now they got to run, though. Oh, never mind. Yukal is actually doing damage. He's turning it. The initial part was good for FPX, but Brand got off so much damage before he died. This game is like the biggest scrap of all time, by the way. 23 kills at 14 minutes. 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 So this is all going to be about can TT find engages because FPX is going to outpoke them super hard with a uh, Karma Jace. The Kara has to be careful. Like he's going to be getting flashed on by 
Maokai whenever he steps up. Hoya's behind. Hoya's behind. Hoya's in really good position. Malignant's proc on the front line. The, the position of this fight ends up being pretty good for um, FPX. Oh, but Jalahu got stunned. Alright, they get Herald and get out. Yeah, carry getting flashed on is one of the loose cons of this situation. Ooh, nice from you, Cal, though. Kind of clean. Is anyone going to ride this? People don't like riding Herald generally versus Poppy. They see him bot. People have finally figured out that if you ride Herald versus Poppy and he ends up Wing you, it's just GG for you. Kara is split off from the team. It's like, and he has no flash. Like, Kara just needs to be behind life. Life has to, like, create room. When brand spells are down, that's when FPX needs to walk up and poke. Okay, Hoya flashed in. They actually kited the engage. If they make it out of this, it would be huge. Is Yukal just dead? Oh my god, they flashed it on 1xn. I don't know if that's good, though. Is that good? I guess it's good, kind of. Two for two right now. Once Milky Way gets back, though, it's, it's all good. Can they kill him? Nice from Duck Dom. Duck Dom's been playing this fight extremely well. Oh, Duck Dom? Nice. Well played, Duck Dom. Dude, Duck Dom got some fucking confidence back. He played that whole fight extremely well as the center. Yukal sent it? I mean, I thought it was actually going to be fine the way Yukal sent it. Like, he sent it, but then Milky Way and um, Jalau, who just flashed onto Varus and killed the Varus. Like, oh, and Duck Dom's just dead. Nice play from 1xn. Dude, only 30 kills in 18 minutes? I think LPL was just kind of a little bit boring this split. I honestly thought that this was this was decent from Yukal. Like, killing the Karma here? Because Karma is such a big... Like, theoretically, if the Karma is dead and you're able to somehow get get out and you don't get one-tapped, I think in a lot of situations it's good for your team, but because the Varus ended up dying too, all the damage is just gone besides for the brand. Duck Dump spacing here was kind of nuts. Ward Q off the ward? Like, come on, bro. Okay, Duck Dom. Duck Dom's been acting a little bit different lately. Weakest LPL has ever been. Sure. But Dom, did you forget 11-1? Uh, you must have forgot 11-1. Hmm. Seems like Dom forgot 11-1. Yeah, we can't be, can't be missing those Mantra Qs. This guy is full armor, buddy. You gotta be putting this guy in the dirt. There you go. <laughs> Did it for vision on Baron. They had no uh, sweeper to check. I mean, that is a pretty major cooldown. But yeah. How many set of souls? He had like, he has a 68. 
Oh, on to Chocho. I like it. I like the way that FBX is playing this. Can it look for a hook onto Beichuan? Nope. Oh. Okay. Okay. About Mad Clear's entire LPL, I mean, they do have the best AD carry in LEC and one of the top five AD carries in the world, so. I mean, really, can you blame him? Damn, they had to TP to save this guy? I guess it's just life's TP, it doesn't matter. Oh, Duck Dom is in Narnia. Oh, he's dead as hell, isn't he? Well, I complimented Duck Dom, and then he started sprinting it down mercilessly. Baron's start is really scary here, though. I would not want to start Baron. Let's see their damage. I mean, okay, let's let's see, let's see it. If they, if they zone well with Poppy, maybe it could work. Or with uh, Maokai, it can work. It's just really scary to do this, but they're doing well. Alright, they're gonna get it. Big. Damn, they actually had a lot of damage. Tristana damage was... D Tristana and Brand damage was crazy here. Normally, it's really scary starting Baron versus this much poke, but they were able to just nuke it. And, and they played it well with Maokai zoning. FPX trades for mid. And then they'll probably trade for enemy blue. Oh? Oh, yeah? Beichuan? Nah. Is this allowed? Oh, Beichuan, huge ult. Big ult, big ult, big ult. Huge ult from Beichuan. He just flash art and just like one shot the whole enemy team. He saw them all clumped. Oh, I canceled an auto there. Oh, that guy's dead or what? He's dead. Holy fuck. Five grubs. Wait, they can do work here. Yeah, it's just a fist fight. Game three would be big for this. Yeah, no, it'd be hype as fuck. They're going to just like end here or some shit? Like, god damn. No, they just get um, mid at him and then they go for Drake. Mega fist fight? Yeah, no, this is a fucking uh, scrap, bro. It is a fucking scrap. Uh, life? He's just unkillable? Milky Way gets a smite. Wait, if they get third Drake, it would actually be huge for FPX. They're too low to fight it? Oh, they're going for it. They know it's huge for them. They're going to TP behind. They're going to send it, bro. They're sending it. They're sending it. They're sending it. Kara's flanking. Oh, and he snipes that too, bro. He's different. This shit is... This is a League of Legends right here, bro. This is what you watch this shit for. No doubt the milk man, maybe he could just win the game. Page one all here was just crazy. He pretty much one tap Jalahu. Dude, you Cal took off Duck Dom's face here, bro. That crit, that was a crit plus a Kraken proc, Jesus. Beichuan got milked. Oh, 
。这场比赛伊查恩虽然不是攻速流，但他穿甲就能和杰斯对着 poke。好的，上路尤卡已经开始推线了，现在很难处理这个小炮对于鞭塔的威胁。两个人站岗。而且野区被站住，没有人可以去上路守住小炮，只能走自己家高地附近的回廊。经济再分一分，很团队。尤卡，这场比赛要和伊查恩担任中期的一个关键选手。可能下一波的决战，虽然大龙来的更早，但我们感觉应该还是电龙魂团哦。啊！黑无手库当中，两个人往前去摸索，扭了一个穿之剑。哦、oh, ，they're going to beach one. Beach one is no flash. Oh, Milky Way got knocked out though. Oh no! Oh life! I mean, I guess it. I guess it's not the end of the world that he died here, but him losing his flash kind of sucks. I mean, there's no way that anyone could follow up. Jala, who didn't have his gate, he couldn't like. Yeah, he couldn't use. Shock blast, Milky Way couldn't follow it up. I mean, the idea here was to kill Beichuan, but like, even if they did kill Beichuan, it doesn't do anything for the game. So it's just such a bad play by life. Like, nice, you kill Beichuan a minute 30 before Baron and two minutes before Drake. What does that do? Do we even get, like, maybe we get top tier one, maybe, but then we don't have Nautilus Flash for, like, the fight that actually matters, which is going to be this soul fight or this, uh, is Baron? I don't know, bro. I just don't know. Feeling these are the kills that actually do nothing for the game. Ah,、uh, if I'm Milky Way, I'm saying some crazy shit to life there. Ah, if I'm Milky Way, I'm saying some crazy shit to life there. Ah, if I'm Milky Way, I'm saying some crazy shit to life there. Ah, if I'm Milky Way, I'm saying some Milky Way got chunked by the Varus. Oh, he missed. He's trying to get the、uh, Varus ult. That Maokai ult is not good, I don't think. Maokai ult being down is, is huge. They can poke Hoya. Poke War is like mega advantage to FPX. I mean, Hexex Soul would just win the game, I think, for FPX. Like, their comp with this much poke, you have a Hexex Soul on top. Like, how do you lose? Careful, life. Careful, brother. He's just walking through like that. One X N ended up missing. Duck Dom is not positioned with the rest of his team. I think they just go Drake here, bro. I think you literally just go Drake. Like they're gonna rush Baron. Just go Drake yourselves, bro. Just give it and go Drake. I mean, you can't, I guess, I guess giving it is bad. I mean, if you can poke him here, then you go, um, then you go Drake anyway. I think it's fine. Hoya engaging here is bad, by the way. Hoya should not be going in like this. And then Beichuan just griefed as well. They, this is really bad by、um, TT trying to force the fight here. Big. Big Hexel. As long as they don't all die, they get Hexel. Good dodge by by life. Life is TP. If he can base, he can TP. No flash on um Yukal here. Oh yeah, is sending it. Be alive? There's no way, right? Oh, care flash. Oh, Milky Way. He's going off. Can he ward Q? Ward Q? One time, ward Q? Nope. There's no wards. Alright, they get Hexel. Xtexol. I mean, his his ult wasn't. 
to like try. I mean, he's trying to hit the enemy, but mainly what he's trying to do is he's trying to just get away from the Varus, get out of auto range. Jello should just run the way of the rest of his team. He's speaking so much Mandarin right now, bro. He's speaking crazy amounts of Mandarin at the moment. They're going on to care. Ult has to be on you, Cal. Good ult. My life. Good ult by life. Oh, he flashed into the... Oh, and Care's dead. Oh, and they all got hit by Varus ult as a result. Oh, shit. They're going to try to cancel recalls and end. The end? Oh, Milky Way actually kills him quickly. Should be able to get back in time. Let's see, let's see. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. They can end. They ended. Shit, bro. We got a series. We got a fucking series, bro. All right.
，尤其是开局我们看的那种野区入侵设计跟直接上下天地对调的设计，已经太久没见了。Plus, I find it like annoying to trail somebody else's bets. You have to like be perma like updating. You have to be ready to bet anything at all times. I don't know. 太可惜了，是的，但是。Too annoying, I think. Ah,没办法，我们说的时间不等人嘛。到了这个时间点，早期没有赢下的比赛已经成为你没法进入季后赛的门槛了，就是挖坑了嘛。对，没办法了，连续两个赛季的这个卡位吧，我觉得需要让
，最终 TT 果断开团结束比赛。那马上决胜局就要开始了，两位解说老师有什么样的期待呢 ？Don't just ask a question. It's such a mentally ill question, by the way. 就是上场比赛给我们的期待值拉高了。You take the team that's Second place in LCK that just lost a third place team that has identical record to them, and ask if they are just going to sweep MSI, or will other teams have a chance? Dom, please come back. The Rift needs you. Shut the fuck up, NXI. I'm busy taking over EU West. I'm bringing the Uter to EU West. I was double streaming Ben for me. It's been pretty good. Been pretty nice, I would say. And I think from a mega bias, from a not from a mega bias standpoint, biased guys. Towards T1, and he just watches international. Not the worst question. I mean, if you just watch internationals last year, you'd know that T1 lost to both both LPL teams at the last MSI. And like, obviously, I don't like buy hugely into narratives. But even if you were to go based off like only narratives, the last time. What was the last time Korea won MSI? Like 2017 or some shit? Like seven years ago was the last time that Korea won an MSI? So, so asking if like the second best team in Korea, probably like the team that's been looking like the third best recently, close series versus Dom1, they probably should have lost to Dom1, did lose to Hanwha Life, got smacked by Gen G, like hard fucked by Gen G. Asking if that team is then going to like sweep MSI is crazy, bro. Like sweep? That means like not not lose a game, right? I'm a legit LPL fanboy. It's just because T1 swept worlds and their team is the same. Okay. I mean, is there like something that I'm missing about that? Because like teams that have stayed the same have not swept MSI before, so like why would that happen now? Like Dom won one Worlds and their team was mostly the same. They had like one change. We had EDG not make MSI after winning Worlds. I don't know what sweeping means. Okay, let's focus on this and not ridiculous questions. Kindred, Ash, Rumble, fans. I mean, FPX, I like the Senna Nautilus. I don't like the Jace for them. I want to see something else. I'm down to see a Karma on three. And then a Renekton or Cassante. That's kind of what I want to see. Damn, that's an early Gragas, though. That's an early Gragas from Hoya. Ari. Care Ari. Mm, I don't know about Care Ari. Ooh, shit. By chat experience. Diego Ban. What does that mean? Diego Ban just means that Milky Way is going to play Zen. I think it means that Milky Way wants to play Zen Zhao here. Milky 
Kindred? Oh. Yeah, he's gonna play Kindred, because Kindred is left up in any games versus Milky Way ever. Okay, Zin is banned. What does that mean? So he wants to play Lee Sin? Or he wants to play Vi? I mean, Milky Way Vi, has he played any Vi? Like Lee Sin or Vi, I guess? It seems strange. I mean, there has to be something that I'm missing here. Is it just Graves again? Like, I don't know. Graves is banned, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he's cooking here. I mean, you technically could just pick top here. Like, do you really care about playing Renekton into Gragas, though? And there's Lee Sin. Unironically losable. He is good, but Poppy is up. I mean, the reason why he's willing to play Lee here is if they play Poppy, like, their comp is kind of low damage. <laughs> but he'll, he'll probably go 80 Poppy since he did it in the first game. So maybe it's just 80 Poppy. Dude, I think FBX loses, bro. I don't like their comp, really. Like, what is Jalao who gonna play to save this? Sante's gone. Rumble's gone. Jace is not looking amazing here. What is Gragas like? What does Gragas even lose to, bro? Like, this champion doesn't lose to anything. There's actually, like, like what beats Gragas hard? The highest win rate counter is what? It is, I guess it is Jace. It doesn't actually have like high win range. I don't know. I don't mind. <laughs> um, you know, like, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I watch that guy play, I don't want to watch him play, like, no offense to the guy, he's a great guy, I like him, but man, I, I could not get paid to watch that guy play professional <laughs> league, like, he really does not want to make the game interesting, like, one bit. What player do you think makes the game most interesting? Honestly, Sniper does a great job, he actually, okay. like, he's an entertainer, like, I watch the guy, I'm like, I don't know what's gonna happen, he might run it down, <laughs> he might completely storm someone, that's worth watching, you know? So you guys want to say? True. Dude, uh, Fudge has been like so disappointed. Like Fudge's tra traje uh, trajectory has been so disappointing to me. Like his trajectory could have been so insane. Like he started out good, his second year like could have been really good, and then it just was all downhill, bro. 
just tried to like become someone he wasn't and then like gave up on it and then lost what he was good at as a result like it's just so disappointing Broad factor, yeah. Is everyone peek at 18 to 20? I don't, I don't think that everyone peeks at 18 to 20. People get better at random times. People just peek and then fall off when they stop playing the game. That's it. Like, when people stop wanting to play 10 hours of solo queue every day, that's when they fall off. Why is Care trading so hard level 2 to level 3? That's such like a weird timer to walk up and trade. I mean, I guess you have sustain in your kit as Ari, and you don't have sustain in your kit as Wei. You have like a shield, but you don't really have like too much sustain. So the idea is that you just trade there because it's okay. Later on, but it seems strange to me. I don't know. Ah,在自家酒馆和游客们一起看着门口的枪手对决。啊，这把画面来到下路，其实这把巴布拉斯下路的对线做的是OK的，因为他把线打得很薄。对，所以说他让TT没有什么进攻的可能。嗯，技能
I'm taking that soul every time. Fuck, it hurts me to leave it there on the floor. This is what, I mean, I think it's actually correct for him to take that soul. He doesn't lose anything for it. Tempo is fine. Literally like a third of a second. Oh, life is griefing it. Jesus, bro. Life, brother. Missed our Q on the turret, lost half of our life. Nice. Nah, fuck it, bro. I'll just lose the game for the soul. At that point, who cares, man? It's worth to just lose the game. There's some shit like that that just kills me. I mean, dude, one of the things that... I, like when I was uh, learning top lane, I was reviewing a game with Lorlo. Like he was like showing me something. Okay, wait, hold on. They're going on to one XN. Milky Way is level six. One XN is probably just dead here. One for one. He doesn't kill Duck Dom, does he? Oh man, if he had that Q, he would have killed Duck Dom too. Shit, that was a little close. But um, I was reviewing a game with Lorlo, and one thing that he like told me we we're we we're reviewing a situation. He's like, yeah. So what you need to do here is you just should intentionally um, base and miss the cannon gold, but just take the experience and recall in front of the cannon. Because if you delay your TP, then your base is going to get canceled and you're fucked in the sign. And I was like, man, I can't do that. I can't just be basing in front of a cannon minion like that. Just allow it to just die in front of me. I will just take the cannon minion and lose the game. Fuck it. I was griefing. Yeah, I mean, he should just hold his Q. But a little early as well. That, if that Q hits from 1XN, that's a 2 for 1. Mm. Bro, the whole fucking goon squad is here, man. Is Yu Kao showing on that as well? Everyone is showing on this. What up? Feeling your cup? Can you take mine? Thank you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lucky Chad can't hear you. Alright, second Drake spawning. 20 seconds. Oh, yeah. It's double TP. Oh, Beijuan's dead though. Oh, Beijuan didn't got the reset. He got the reset in time. Okay, Jalau, who's just gonna full send it topside. Oh, they're going on to Milky Way. Do you have a war jump? He has a war jump. Now the TP comes in. TP is from life. Renekton is still just fucking up top turret. I think you're happy with this if you're FPX. You can give first two drakes with their comp, I think. Actually, that's fine. It's fine. 
。这把两边的画风就相较于上一把平和跟合体了许多。还想来下来。Oh my God, life, where are we? What are we doing, brother? What are we doing? 都没有想打斗的意思。本场是海斯科技龙魂。The Rumble Ban. Wait, oh, people were talking about the Rumble Ban being against um Jalahu. No, the Rumble Ban is mainly versus life. By the way, so it's, it's a Rumble support ban. That's what's getting banned. One, two, three. I don't hate the angle from life. I mean, they would win this fight if it wasn't double TP coming in. Renekton just doesn't have TP to match. Like it almost ended up being okay. I mean, I, it, like, the result was actually okay. The result was fine. Oh, they missed. Look away doesn't have a smite here. Guess they're gonna have to give two grubs. Only getting four is not that good. Which is base kind of late, too. Duck Dump's trying to snipe it. Oh, he didn't get it. Oh, he didn't get it. Oh my god. Oh, he could have got it, bro. He really could have. You think I'll be able to hit Challenger before I leave in the US? Ah, oh, bro, I don't, I don't, I'm not playing enough games. In the first, in the first 18 days, I played 45 games. So I'm playing like three games a day average. Just not enough. Less than three games a day, like not enough games. Like playoffs is going on, and you know, playoffs is going to be going on in EU, LCK, and LPL. There's no time for it. The Grandmaster best. I mean, Grandmaster is pretty close to Challenger. I probably won't hit Grandmaster either. Realistically, I'll just play as much as I can and see what happens. You got Master in fewer games than some players who came to EU for Worlds in 2021. Really? Yeah, the Master grind was pretty easy. Account, account's looking nice right now, bro. Maybe I just maybe I just leave the account like this. I don't ruin it by playing low Master games. Oh, I'm gonna keep on playing. Flip map right here. It's good for FPX. They're getting Herald and they're catching Bot Wave and they're getting top all at the same time. Now they have a 2k gold lead. The count name. Now Abusing Udyr, disgusting. I've been playing more Rek'Sai than Udyr in recent games. I'm more abusing Rek'Sai than, than abusing Udyr. Right now. Oh my god, my shoulder just fucking cracked. I'm old as shit. My shoulder is just crazy cracked. What the fuck? Oh man, hitting hard. Now that shit surprises me. Bro, sometimes I just get out of bed and I take my first two steps on the ground and I hear both of my knees. Shit scares me. So third Drake will decide the game as per usual. I mean, it, it, it depends, right? Like, FPX don't need to get the Drake necessarily to win the game. If they get a big enough fight and they just, like, generate, like, a 2-3k gold, or a 2-3k more gold than they have right now, they're at 5-6k, they probably just win no matter what. And both teams here should just be playing for fight. 
He's the way that you're that old? Yeah, bro, my fucking knees are absolutely cooked. Oh, Duck Dom? Is he getting one-tapped? He had to flash that. Yeah, he was going to get one-tapped. I mean, that's Whale out for the fight. And Senna has the stain. So maybe it's okay. I think it's actually okay. Jalau, who needs to flank here? He should go for the Omega flank. He should flank all the way around. Because if they run into this... um. Uh, we're not old. They're gonna get fucked. Oh, Milky Way hits those, bro. He just hits those? Oh, the kick? He's the GOAT. He's the GOAT. He's the fucking GOAT. That's my GOAT, bro. He wants that top four, bro. He wants that top four. Dude, he's just clean with it, bro. He's so fucking smooth. Dude, he played that so well. He played it so well. He played it so well. Goes in, steals Drake, war jumps, kick flash. Like, he's him. Gets it. Or W's out, then kick flashes onto Yukal. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. He's really like that. Okay. All right. What can you even say? What can you even say? He is just really like that. So good. That was sick. That's a fucking hard fight to play, by the way. Like, you're Lee Sin there, and you're like, okay, there's a Gragas on the enemy team, there's a Poppy on the enemy team, there's Renata I need to dodge the ult from. I got it, like, I get hit by a Varus ult, I'm, po I'm possibly one tapped as well. Like, you're considering all these things at the same time. It is not easy to play, bro. Like, multiple things, like, there's three things in the fight that can interrupt your, your Q. Actually, four, right? Because the fear does it as well. There's four things that can interrupt your Q in this fight. Like, in terms of, like, basic abilities, Poppy W, Gragas E, uh, Renata Q, uh, the fear from, from uh, Huey. So much that you gotta care about here. Oh, on to Chocho. Nice. But why are they checking it so early, though? Like, t like, Baron's not up for 40 seconds. I feel like you just play on the midwave here if you're TT. Dude, Kara's is now just, like, insanely accelerated. Oh, Milky Way? Is he dead? No, he's fine. They can get bot turret off this. It's a bot turret gap. Renekton is actually just unkillable now. Mm. Renekton is literally just unkillable. With, like, now that he has a Starax, they have so much gold lead on the solo laners. Both solo laners are now at 40 CS. Uh, they can kill him with these three, maybe. Jalahu has ulti and Sterex. Never mind. Never mind. It's just impossible. Like, if Varus will hit, maybe, because Varus has Blade of the Rune King, so there's a chance, but... Uh, it's just so strong. Are they going to start Baron off this? They're starting Baron. Milky Way just dry started the Baron, by the way. I like how he just started hitting that shit. Come here, bitches. It's Baroning time. They do this so fucking slow. Care, can you hit this shit? Like, we do this so slow, boys. Free Baron. Don't look mid items. Yeah. Dude, I don't know, bro. Uh, Yukal has this obsession with with Morellos. 
I swear Morello's obsession is, is such a plague on the league, and what happens is um, people just look at the Morellos, they don't think about like what, how much AP is in the game now, and they just think about like 2200 gold for 90 AP? How could it be bad? And it's like, well, it's bad because a large rod builds into better items and large rod gives you 70 AP by itself. That's why it's bad. But people just stop at like the 90 AP for 2200 gold and it sounds so OP in their brain because they're conditioned to, to think about old AP values and they don't understand how much AP is in the game now. That's the issue. Morellos is 115% gold efficient. Yep, people look at that, they're like, it's really gold efficient. But the reason why it's so gold efficient... Oh, they go on Renata here. Oh, Milky Way, kick flash onto 1xn? It's huge, bro. Is it a game ender? Is that a game ender from, from the Milky Goat? Okay, another charm? Uh, can they kill this guy? They can. Might be able to end. Dude, Carrot ulted 17 times in this fight. They have a wave here. Do we not hit? Okay. I guess we're just going to take Drake. It was potentially an end angle, but it's fine. What item should he have bought instead of Morello's? I mean, this game, I think you just go uh, Leandre's on Hue. I think Leandre's is so much gold value. You have three people that are going to have decently high HP. And I think, I think Leandre's is just good in general. So it's probably just the uh, standard Leandre's into Crypt Bloom, Death Cap on 4. That's it. I, I, I think Leandre's is just a broken item, bro. I think it's so good. Especially with the way you're going to have to fight here. You're going to need to do damage to them over time. All right, relax, Milky Goat. Let's just hit the turret. What about Horizon Focus? I like Horizon Focus in games where you're hitting squishier targets more. Like when the enemy team is just squishier in general. But like you're dealing with a Renekton with this much HP, plus a Stair X, plus the Nautilus is, is farming, so he's going to have high HP in the game. Plus there's a Lee Sin on the enemy team who's going to build some HP as well. Like he's probably going to go with Stair X as well. It's just, I think Leandre's will out damage Horizon Focus. Unless you're like comboing Duck Dom and trying to one shot Duck Dom, which I just don't think is realistic in this game. Why not just Rabadon? Rabadon? I mean, the thing about Rabadon is like, it gives you 140 AP. It gives you a lot of AP. Um, and it does give you less of like, the, the Rabadon passive is not as much of the item as it was before. Now it's more, a higher base HP. But it's still just nicer to get that item when you have more AP in general. Like, the, the reason you'd early rush a Rabadon is if you think you really need Rabadon void super early in this game. But I think that he would actually, like, I'm not sure if he would significantly out damage with Rabadon uh, Crypt Bloom over just Leandre's Rabadon. Like, I think Leandre's will actually get you so much damage in this game. Onto you, Cal. Clean. Got his flash. Nice. Life is probably dead, but it's looks pretty decent. Oh my god. Is Chocho dead? Okay, we're kind of scrapping. Two for one right now. All right, probably have to just play for Baron now. They lost a lot of flashes on core members, though. Like, this was okay for um, FPX because of all the flashes that were lost. It's just a Baron start. We'll probably just win the game off Baron here.
Oh, Bow Fong Dadian Mordor, Sula, Suho, Chan, you can't all. Did you come back now? It's, it's okay. See what TT can only see what. Tash, I can't have some more. The main thing is they lost Flash on Hui and Varus here, and it's very hard for them to survive versus Ari and Lisa. And Lisa has, has kick Flash in the next fight as well. So, yeah. Damn. <laughs> 1XN didn't like cleanse because he thought he was just getting W one shot. I think should just start Baron on spawn, I think. Clear this wave and then start Baron on spawn. Here is level 16, like his ult is just broken here. Yeah, start the Baron here. Milkman just goes and he starts that shit. Kara is insane angle. FPX can just play for the fight here. They're not really trying to get Baron, by the way. They're mainly playing for the fight. There it is. That's the pull. Good charm. They got him right where they want him now. Okay, straight end mid. They're going bot. Right end. Yeah, it's GG. GG! Probably this is going to get a fourth place finish for FPX, most likely. But Top Esports has been playing worse. So we're not 100% guaranteed. Okay. All right, boys. Well, that's that. Okay, so I'm going to take a break. I'll be back in two and a half hours. We got LEC today, um, as usual. For people that want to know context of this match, it was really important for FPX to win because if they win and NIP lose, then FPX gets top four, which means that they are automatically seeded into round three of playoffs, meaning that they will dodge the first two rounds. Now, if NIP win tomorrow um, against top esports, they will end up being the team in fourth place because they have better game score uh, than FPX. So that's what we'll be watching for. Or sorry, it's on Wednesday, but whatever. When they play, when when NIP plays top esports, if they win, they get fourth place. If not, FPX now will get fourth place. If FPX lost this, they would be uh, guaranteed. Or not, uh, would they be guaranteed? Yeah, they would be guaranteed in um in fifth, sixth, I think. I'm trying to just do the math and games. Uh, they have the head to head over NIP, so maybe not, maybe maybe not guaranteed. But now, like, it doesn't matter. The situation is. Pretty much, if NIP win, they're, they're top four. If they lose, then they're fifth, sixth. Um, and fifth, sixth is going to have to play one of these four teams. LNG is not locked in sixth place, but they probably will end up being the sixth place team because they play against RA. So tomorrow, I'm probably only going to do Weibo versus IG, and then I'm not going to watch LGD versus RNG. No point, really. Um, and then the following day, I'll probably watch both of these matches because they matter for... Um, yeah, seeding into playoffs. That's what we got, and then we're done with, with LPL regular season. So, anyways, I'm done. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys um, for LEC later. Peace.